Raise your hand if you're on Clubhouse. Everybody is getting on Clubhouse these days. Despite being a little bit turned away from it just because it's another social media app, I do think it's a great idea. If you don't know, Clubhouse is a live, audio-only social media app. I recently made a profile and after a few weeks, I realized that I just wasn't compelled to go on the app and use it. I kind of wanted to figure out why that might be. So I wanted to analyze the experience and brainstorm and mock up a few solutions that I feel like would make it a better experience from my perspective at least. I posted some of my ideas on Instagram and that post ended up getting a lot of engagement so I figured it would be a fun idea to go a little bit deeper here on YouTube and come up with even more solutions and kind of walk you guys through that process. Before we dive into that though I just wanted to say hi and thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Maddie if you're new I am a product designer currently working as an Adobe creative resident and here on YouTube I make videos about design and productivity. Feel free to subscribe if you're into that and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to tackle is these rooms. So when you first log on to the app, you will see these, you know, rooms that are live. But as a first time user, I didn't actually know that these were live. I didn't know if when I entered the room, I was gonna be like brought up on stage. Would my audio be on? I was just a little bit nervous to tap on these. And so I think that some sort of icon to denote that these are live would be a really good solution here so that you kind of know what you're looking at when you first log on to the app. So what I decided to do here was add a live icon. And this icon kind of serves two purposes. It denotes live, but it also kind of looks like an audio icon to show that you are going to hear speaking whenever you tap on this. But I also was considering the fact that if you put this icon on every single one, it doesn't really mean anything. So another option would be to just add a heading, which is live now or something like that. And then in the subheading, you could say, join these events. Don't worry, your audio will be off unless you request to be up on stage or something like that. So that new users or even returning users who haven't been here for a while will understand how this works. The other thing that really bothered me about the app and that made me not want to come in and use it is because I felt like the information was really crowded. I felt like it was a little bit overstimulating, especially for someone who is easily overstimulated like myself. There's just a lot of text um, it's a little confusing and there's not a lot of room to breathe and understand what you're looking at so specifically where I think that is the most true is in the upcoming for you section so when you click on the calendar it will show you I guess based on what you um, have followed what you like who you're following um, interest that you have it will tell you what is coming up um, and it will categorize it by today, tomorrow, that kind of thing. And I think that these could really benefit from a little bit of separation. So it could be something as simple as a line in between, which is what I mocked up here. And what I did was I separated them a little bit with some space and then I also added a line. The other thing that this does is it helps that bell icon that you can tap if you wanna get notifications about when this is starting. It helps that group together with the corresponding event. The next issue that I came across is whenever you're creating a new event. So you click on the um, calendar icon with the plus and it brings up this new event kind of creation modal. And what you're supposed to do here is first name the event. And so when I tap tap on here and I start to name the event, then the label disappears and that just doesn't really follow best practices for UX because someone could start typing something and then, oh, get distracted, come back and think, uh, what was I typing? And then they kind of have to delete it to then see the label or the sample text. Whereas instead, that label should be moved right above it, maybe a little bit smaller when you start typing. So I mocked that up here and the same should go for this description one too. 
The next thing I want to talk about is within a live room, once you're in there, you're listening, there's this plus icon on the bottom right. And so when you look at that, it's really hard to know what that actually means. It's really not clear. So let's just explore this. Okay, so now you're understanding once you click it, ping someone into the room or share. And so that means add a user basically. So the plus button just, it doesn't, it's not specific enough. It's not clear. And so my idea to redesign this would just to be to switch the icon up so that it looks like an add user or invite user icon instead of just the plus. It's all about clarity. So even this tiny, tiny change would make the experience so much better and smoother and more clear for someone, especially who's new to the app. All right, next let's talk about your profile page. So I tap on my face up in the corner and it brings me to my profile page, which is great. But let's say I want to edit my bio. There's no like pencil icon that always denotes editing. If I go up into settings, it's not there. And then I realized that when I just tap on the bio, it does come up and it's editable in a little modal, but that's really not clear until you actually try it out. Even just a message that says tap to edit would completely fix that problem if you don't wanna go in and make all of these look editable by adding an icon or just fixing the style up a little bit. Or the other option, which is what most apps do, is they will have one edit icon up in the top where these share and settings icons are so that you tap that and then each of these things becomes editable and looks editable. Um, and actually brings up the keyboard when you tap it instead of having kind of like a double tap situation. Next, I wanna talk about notifications and there's a couple weird things here. So when I tap on the bell that has a badge that says 22, First of all, that's a lot of notifications, but then you tap into it and the title is activity. So if this is just activity and it's just what my followers or my friends have been up to, then I don't need a red badge to like really egg me on to go and tap into there because it's nothing really that important or pressing. So that's the first thing that I would change. And the way I would do that would be to break up this notifications section into two parts, notifications, and then once you've scrolled through all of your actual notifications, like someone followed you or something like that, then you can sort of break it off, use a line and another title that says activity in case you do want to tap through um, or scroll through all of these things. Because look down here, it says, after all of this, this person signed up, do you wanna follow them? All the stuff that I don't really care about, then at the bottom you finally get to Leah followed you, Julie followed you, all this stuff. And I feel like that's really weird because right here, these people who are actually following me, I might wanna follow them back. And so there's no way to do that because this is sort of like flipped. It's like the important stuff is at the bottom and the unimportant stuff is at the top with actual um, like options for follow or not yet. And so that's the first thing or I guess the first few things that really bother me is just the structure of this and what's being prioritized. The second thing is that there's just too much happening here. Like I said, why do I care about all of these things? And I feel like they could be grouped together. Like Rachel just signed up for Clubhouse Follow Them. Instead of that, it could be Rachel and 20 others just signed up for Clubhouse. Then then like see all or not yet thanks. That would really like scale down the amount of information in this section and it would be so much more digestible. Okay, honestly, there's a lot more I could do with this, but I really wanted to maintain the spontaneous nature of the app because that is one of its best features. It seems like the Clubhouse team is doing a really good job listening to their users. It's really great and I think it means that we're going to start to see a lot of improvements and evolution with this app over time. UX is all about problem and solution, so I hope that this was 
was a valuable exercise for you to sort of see the behind the scenes of. Hope you enjoyed it and if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you did like this specific video I think you'll really like the playlist behind the design where I go through step by step and really show you the behind the scenes of how I research, design, test, do all of the important parts of the UX process. Also feel free to leave down in the comments the app that you want me to review next. I really liked doing this and I would love to do it again so I would love to hear your suggestions. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!